In uh, yesterday's video, I say yesterday, I'm not sure when I uploaded it to when I'll upload this one to know that it's actually yesterday. But it's yesterday for me, so I'm going to go with yesterday. Uh, we've been talking about Tucker going to driver's ed, getting his uh, driving and stuff, and I don't know that I've mentioned on our YouTube channel, I know I've mentioned it on Facebook and Instagram, but Tucker actually turned 16 in April. It is now July. Uh, about the time that Tucker started going to driver's ed and uh, doing, you know, doing the classroom work and all that stuff, uh, the virus had, you know, uh, happened or, or was here, you know, and we started taking all the precautions and they shut everything down before he could start doing his driving. So Tucker turned 16 and driver's ed was incomplete. You know, the DMVs were shut down and everything. So here it is July and he's finally getting to do all his drives. He should take, he'll do one more drive this morning and then he will go take his driving test to get his paperwork to go get his driver's license. So here it is, July 22nd, and we're hoping that everything goes good today and Tucker gets his driver's license. So another big day for us. And uh, you know, Tucker's already got a vehicle. He, he's been saving for several years. Uh, he bought him a Jeep Cherokee. So we've been doing a few things to that and still have a few more things to do to his Jeep, you know, uh, for it to be road ready for him to, uh, not to be road ready, but you know, for him to do much traveling outside of just normal teenage running around. But uh, anyways, I thought I'd explain that to you guys, kind of how Tucker is already 16, but uh, man, he's such a trooper. He didn't let him, you know, it didn't get him down or anything. And uh, he was still uh, happy and stuff, you know, that he was even getting to do it now in July. So hopefully we'll get that done today, get his driver's license. He'll be an official driver where he can drive by himself, run more errands for me, hopefully. Hopefully it'll work out like that. That'll save uh, uh, Casey and I some time during the day when we need supplies. He can go get stuff for us, and that'll be part of his working. Because Tucker does work for us in the coffee shop some in the afternoons. But uh, that kind of sums that up for you guys. A little explanation on how we're doing that with Tucker. Tasher's 14. Can't wait to drive, but still has a couple more years. Well, I got Tucker picked up from Driver's Ed. And now he's an official driver. So we're gonna go get his driver's license printed at the old tag office and then go from there. Well, we got Tucker's license. He is officially licensed driver. He doesn't have much to say. He's a man of few words. We're gonna head back, go see, go see Miss Casey and eat some lunch. So we made it back here and Tucker's already decided to work on the Jeep, but this uh, fan shroud, you can see the top of that thing is busted off. So we ordered one of those off Amazon. It's only like, what, $17 or 20 bucks or something. But his fan right here was, uh, wasn't covered, you know, cause the shroud on it cause it was busted. So we got a new one, so he's installing that. Nice. That's a good fit. And it'll help it run cooler because it's not that it's been running hot, but anyways, we're gonna fix that. And I think we were going to fix a battery terminal here that's loose. And I don't know, find some other stuff to mess around with, but or I'm gonna watch Tucker do it unless he needs help. Well, can't got a driver's license. <laughs> Casey's, I think Casey's sad. He's so grown up now. Guy's driver's license. Yep. He's working on his own Jeep, doing his thing. Say he was going to move out today. He's headed to California. Go live the skater life. Not really, but he is fixing to load his Jeep up with a whole bunch of boxes, and he doesn't know that, and take him to the dumpster. We're at the old dog groomer. Mr. Axe had to get a haircut, and I can judge by the way. Casey's voice is screeching out there that she must be excited to see Axe and she must be happy with his haircut. So we'll get him in here and see what he looks like. Oh, look at this little teddy bear. He's hey so there, cute. Mr. Axe. Tell him what you're doing. Did you get a haircut? Oh, oh you smell good. Yeah, look at him. He's so, so sweet. She said he was the best dog ever. 
best dog she ever. Said she thinks that he would stand on his head if she asked him to. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. X, he likes to. He likes that attention, don't you, buddy? Huh? <laughs> yeah, he looks good. Nice and fluffy. Yep. He she knows. said he might need a haircut in a in a few weeks. Another haircut in a like, few weeks? Well, he oh, didn't get his haircut. He only got combed out. Because she just out. brushed him out. Yeah. There it is, folks. Life of having a poodle. <laughs> that dog is high maintenance, but man, he is fun. He's a good, he's a good dog for the vehicle, too. Yes. Hey guys, so I'm out here in the shop and man, we have been dealing with some just nasty flies. Those things are in the shop, in the house, in the backyard. And now that we have the fence up in the backyard, it's like they're attracted to that cedar. So back when we had the homestead, my go-to insecticide has always been this tempo. This stuff is, is great for mosquitoes, for flies, um, all bugs, right? Uh, you got to be careful even spraying it around like uh, you know places where there may be bees and stuff because you don't want to you don't want to be harmful to the bees. But I had to go buy me a new sprayer because I didn't have one anymore, and uh, got to deal this tempo gallon sprayer and enough tempo here probably to last me this whole summer, fall, and probably next summer. But eighty bucks is what I had to spend, and I guarantee it's going to be the best eighty dollars I've spent probably all summer because the flies are that bad and I know this stuff is gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray in here in my shop, uh, kind of on the edges of the shop and stuff, around the doors and stuff. And then I was gonna go outside and spray, but it kind of looks like it might rain. So I may not go out there and spray quite yet, but we'll see. But if you're looking for something to get rid of your mosquitoes and your fly problem, highly recommend the Tempo. That stuff is good. All right, guys. We are officially winding down this week. Yep, it's been a great week. It has been a really productive week for us. We've gotten so much done. <clears throat> I guess we can recap. Yes. We ate some food. <laughs> <laughs> Had all of our workouts this week. We got Tucker to get his driver's license mm -hmm. this week. That was a big deal. Um, Axe got to the groomers this week. We um, got our fence done this week. Fence up. That's where we're at Yay. currently. Again, in the backyard. Tonight yep. is planning night for us. Um, it is Friday, and we figured that we would come back here, plan out our weekend yep. for projects. Yes. This weekend is project weekend. Yep, it is. So All day Saturday and Sunday, we're going to be working on the backyard, getting all the stuff done that we possibly can that we want to do <laughs> back here. <laughs> and we're going to show you guys as many of those project projects as possible. Yep. So, yeah, want to give any, any any teasers? I think the very first thing that's going down is some garden boxes. Mm. Excited about that. Garden boxes in July. We haven't ever done that. We probably actually have. I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, that is part of what we're doing. We're going to do some yep. garden boxes back here, among other things in this backyard, and try to start letting it all come together so that we can enjoy it back here. Yes. So. Making a trip to Lowe's first thing in the morning. Mm-hmm. We are uh, without our kids. Tucker's driving, and uh, and we're allowing him to <clears throat> come and go. Stuff. The yep. boys worked all day today. Uh, they, they did, did some tree trimming, and mm -hmm. so that that was good for them. So they're rewarding themselves with the skate park now. Yep. And so. And then they're going to be back at work tomorrow morning. Oh yeah, they are. They're going to they're gonna be doing that. Morning. So I was hoping they were going to be working for me. Nope. <laughs> <clears throat> That's okay. Yeah. So, so next yeah. video, we're going to be doing some projects so until then. I'm show you guys this backyard. I think it's going to turn out really cool. Yeah, I'm excited. Me too. So, all right, guys, until the next video, until the next time we see you. Yep. If you have any ideas for us uh, for the backyard, anything you think would be cool back here, yeah. uh, put it in, the, in comments. the comments. Let us know. Until next time, see you later. Bye.